Hey guys, welcome to Grumpy Gamer Guys GP. Saren Chiller here, and today we are looking at Space Engineers. Yep, this is Space Engineers. As you can see, we've been a bit busy. Uh, lots of stuff going on. There's been lots of my fellow Grumpy Gamers helping me out on this. We've had Topo, we've also had only the Fuzz from his YouTube channel giving us a bit of a hand, and we've all been doing a little bit of this, that, and everything. So this is my asteroid base, it's a mining base and I have strangely made it look like a yellow orc, don't ask me why, I I, I have kindly called it the squig base. Um, and up over there we see various other bits and pieces, we've got Fuzz's uh, very very strange ship that he's got up there, but it is rather cool, we might have a look at that at some point. And Topo's wee base over there. And. Uh, part of my base we also have this here which is a new thing I've been working on using some of the newer newer features in Space Engineers so um, as you can see we've got in creative mode at the moment we have we did actually start playing this map in survival survival was rather cool um, but what I'll do is I'll just get rid of an item from my hand so we can go in and have a look do 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 This is a bit of a special ship, this one. In fact, before we go in any further, I'm just going to jump out. Oop, see if I get my thrusters to take me forward. Now, this space station's uh, mined through the rock and loads of other weird and wonderful stuff. It is rather cool. So, I'll give you a look at that at some point. But, as you can see, there's the old ship. Looks a bit strange, nothing special about it. Or is the it definitely is it's me that built it. It's not just a normal ship. Now I built this after playing around with the old uh, the mass generator device. Uh, the mass uh, I can't remember what they're called, but basically they generate mass. Uh, <laughs> You'll notice I went flying there. That's right. I turned my jetpack off. And gravity took hold, so it gives you an idea about my ship. Now I need to tidy it up. So what I'll do is I'll land on on board. If anybody, any of you guys have played this, you'll know have a rough idea what I'm doing. But as we go through, this is the ship. Now at the moment, gravity is working in a kind of weird direction because I haven't finished setting it up. These things here are gravity generators. We have a few of them, and it's all for the the reason the ship is what it is. Now this is the cockpit. I'm just going to attach myself to it. Now at the moment I'm attached to the space station, which is fine. The space station's clamped me, so I can't really go anywhere. But it's going to allow me to do a couple of things. Now these are gravity generators. I've got 12 of them on the ship at the moment. Now basically, what we need to do is we need to bring the width down to maybe about 34 meters, 32, 30 meters. Now we need to bring the height right down because we don't want we just want a tiny bit of height and we want to keep this as they are. Now the problem with this is we need to do it for all of them. So and if you can hear we rattle in at the moment, I've got a cat that's exploring around in my room and having a whale of a time. But I'm just gonna bring these down. Now, yeah. So, let me see what else we've we got here. Right, could rest this down. Okay, that's them all done. So now when I come out of this and go back into the the old ship. Now there's no gravity, that's good. This is what we're wanting. However, when we get to about here, there's a wall of gravity. Oh, right, this is interesting. No. No. Ah, I'll 
play around with that. But uh, anyway. Okay, so we're just going to quickly pop back in here and until I figure it out, because you all know what I'm like from other videos if you've watched them. If you haven't, you'll find out by watching me that I do get a little bit confused very easily. And playing Space Engineers is probably more confusing than Minecraft ever will be, because it actually uses a lot of real, real world science values and stuff like that. It uses a lot which isn't. We'll pop all these back in here. And this will just sh allow me to show you what uh, wonderful stuff we can do. Right, so I'm just going to disconnect. As you can see, we've got gravity everywhere. And it's all pointing down the way, which is fine. Right. Out the spaceship. Now, these here are doors open and closed. Now, they're not straightforward things to make in this game. Nothing ever is. Um, but I did it as a test. That's why we've got the activation console out here. But I'm going in here because I also want to take the parking brake off everything. Oh. So, if we go away, those those will actually open those doors there. As you can see, these have gone from green to yellow. They're the parking feet, so to speak, that allow me to dock my ship on the station. So what we'll do is we'll just jump inside. Now, I have to say, I can make this easier for testing purposes. I can actually put a, a, put this cockpit on the outside of the hull. But for game turns, we're not going to do that. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to move away because I don't want to go crashing into anything. It is a bit of a slow beast. But that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go play with this asteroid down here. Now I do have gyroscopes on here, gyroscopes even on here to allow me to turn a lot easier and what have you. But this is a bit of a big beast and I don't have enough thrusters on here to really do the required bits and pieces. Right, so I'm going to stop there. That red stuff in there is actually iron. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the ship and I'm going to go look for my rotor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the rotor to about 76 RPM. And this is what happens. The whole front of the ship opens. Now what I'll do is I'll just spin around so you can actually see what's going on. Yep, the front of the ship opens and you can see inside. tried to hide everything in here so that you can actually see that too much. So people making a cursory glance won't realise that that's what it does. Now I can obviously open that a lot quicker but I don't want to overtax the system. Now what we have is we have this. So I'll just get landed here on the platform. Now I should have this. Let's see if I've got it. Yeah there we are. So let's see if I can pop that there. Now this is a new, this is a, allow me to use my gravity generator. Now open up the menu and I'm just going to grab myself uh, artificial mass. This is what we're looking for. I'll watch what happens as soon as I put one of these on here. Oh, I don't think we're close enough. Oh, there we go. Now that's some distance away. So we are close enough, it's just it's uh, a considerable distance away. So what we'll do is we'll do this again, just so you can see. Now, 
we're generating that much gravity that basically what we've done is we've just made a mass driver. Oh, excuse that, that's the save. I've got all max save feature on. I should take it off in future. But yep. This here is two of them. Now they're basically small ships I've created. And they are making a dent in the asteroid as you can see. They are making a bit of a hole. Now they, they work equally well on heavy armour. And various other bits and pieces. Now the problem with having a grey ship and not having a beacon on it makes it incredibly hard to find. But that's the ship there, anyway. So what I'll do is I'll... I'll just reconnect into it. And... I'll hit zero so we're not activating that. Okay down to the rotor and I'll put that to negative 80 so it closes on its own quite happily and I'll also jump out because we want to go exploring at the same time hello door ok what else have we got on here over there is something I imported from one of the steam workshops somebody built this it's basically their cut down version of Battlestar Galactica, which doesn't use too much system resources. It's going to take a second or so. Now all these other blips are other um, beacons that are showing up. Some of them are the ones that uh, spawn randomly in game, if you've got the setting enabled on your map. Which we have. We've got business shipments. Various other wonderful bits and pieces. Now this here is basically somebody's idea of doing a Battlestar Galactica. It's not the most agile thing, but it is rather cool. So what I'll do is I'll just bring us inside. And we will stop there. I'm going to copy this. Bring it forward a bit. And up a wee bit. Until it's out of the way of the other one. Right there. So I've dunked it down. Now this is why I like this. As you can see, they've uh, they've done the drop sh the the troop transports as well. So they've done a really cool job. But this is why I like this. So we'll go in here. We'll turn it on. We'll turn the large reactor on as well. Yes, it's got a large reactor on one of these. And this is why, because I always remember watching Battlestar Galactica as a kid and thinking it was really cool when it flew down the corridors. Now watch this. Oh, oh epic fail. Epic fail. I crashed the ship. But that's cool, that allows me to show a different feature. Now normally that doesn't happen. And that's it firing the guns. Now what we'll do is we'll tab out and we'll get rid of you because we don't need you in our life so we'll remove that now what you can do in the Space Engineers for those of you who haven't played it is you can actually repair stuff so we've dented all this and what a mess we've made but I'm gonna weld it back into shape oh yes I am can't have a messy ship especially this There we go, it's repaired. Just double check, yep, everything's repaired. I love the fact that they've visually made everything look a bit scuffed and damaged, it's rather cool. Right, let's try this again. Okay, I'm going to use the proper one because it's at the proper height. I'm going to activate the thump. Uh, uh, thump is obviously the name of the pilot, if you remember watching it. Turn reactor on. At the moment, this won't move. Try and move, won't move. Take the parking brake off. Take my hand off the mouse, so I'm not doing anything silly. And just push forward. How cool is that? Alright! That's awesome. Ooh, it's a fast wee nippy thing. It is good, it does what it's supposed to. 
Now, to land, it's a bit different. You can go back in there if you're skilled enough, but most people aren't. So what you do is you put yourself over the landed thing. This is also how the transports go as well. Now, you can change the view on your ship, and you can also change pretty much everything on your ship view-wise. So it's all about trying to get things lined up, lined up even. do now as we got to that is we'll try and level the ship out. Do do now the front foot's touching. Oh sorry, saving game again. Should most definitely turn that off in future. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the ship. Do some good bring her down so the feet are touching. And we can safely bring her in without doing any real damage. Now, what you'll also see when I'm reversing on this one, because it's rather cool, is there's an actual bit that drops down so you can actually get the engineers underneath it which I thought was rather cool. So I'll just go back in, I'll turn you off and I'll turn your large reactor off as well. And they'll leave it as if, as if I found it. So there we go, that's our galactic that was brought in. Now obviously this was made by somebody else and I can't remember who but I will find out and give them credit. That down there was my base, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly switch and we'll come back when I get to show you something else. Ok folks, welcome back. What we've got here is we've got the USS Ulysses, spelt incorrectly I know, I will fix that at some point. But this is my ship on this server, um, I've also got my base which has got various ships inside it. But this here I was building because we were having a who can build the bigger ship kind of thing going on. And as they found out, I'm a bit mental and spend far too long building ships. Now, it's not painted properly because I haven't finished building it, but you get to see what I've done with it so far. The fact that it's showing this big at 2,000 metres kind of gives you an idea of how big it is. So when we get a bit closer, you'll actually be able to see stuff like engines and so on because they'll start showing on it. Now, this ship's entirely made of heavy armour. It's designed to take impacts, mass impacts. Now I haven't finished the launch bay at the bottom. And I've extended this launch bay on this side, but that's before I enabled mirroring. So I need to go back and do that side over there. Oh! Okay. Looks like some weird and wonderful stuff's been going on. But that's cool. This is what happens when you... Uh, okay. Fine. I was probably, I think it was me, you know. So I'll delete that. So basically this is the ship. Now, 
that red line you've seen is because I've got mirror in set up, so whenever I create something on one side it creates it on the other. Uh, I've only got one way mirroring because that's all I need at the moment. Now, these here are engines. They're, they're additional engines, obviously, for the launch bay at the bottom. Makes it a lot bigger. And I had started extending these, um, but I haven't completed it. Now, basically, this ship was initially designed for ramming, hence this massive prow at the front. But then we, then I kind of decided that I wanted it to be m more than just a ramming ship. I, I, I wanted it to be more than just a one ship wonder, one shot wonder even. So yes, so I built this to be a bit more interesting. Now the launch bays are capable of holding reasonable sized fighters. I've already got one attached, one that I created, and I've also got the inside crate as well. So if we Use grav turn our gravity off and actually run. Oh, there goes a save. You can see that I've actually got uh, got some of the internals done so far, which I'm pleased about. Haven't got masses of them done. Uh, I've only just sort of been working on that. Now at the moment, until they get lifts, we just have to turn the jet back on. So we'll run round in here. This is the reactor room. As you can see, there's a lot of large reactors in here. There's not many gravity generators, because we don't really need them. We're only just trying to get the equivalent of 1F gravity. And what we're doing... Oh! Don't look up when you're going up. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I've been so busy that I've actually made another level inside. There's some med bays in here and what have you. Um, but there's also access not on that side because I haven't finished it yet. But over here is access to one of the launch bays. There we go. So just put the jet back on, it makes it move a bit quicker. Go through one of the doors. Do, do, do. These are rows of gyroscopes, so this thing will actually turn when you ask it to, otherwise you could be in trouble. Now we're all the way up to the top. Now this deep space, as you can see behind us, so it's quickly close that, but in here is the command consoles. So if we, ta if we go on this, and as you can see, this thing will actually turn. Takes a bit to turn around. In fact, if I'm honest, it takes a lot to turn around. But we'll try and use the forward engines at the same time. Oh. As you can see, she is a beast. And I have got more engines to put on her, but when she gets started, she starts to actually turn quite well. So I think it's about time I actually got turned around and starting to look back at uh, the other guys. As you can see we've got a nice bit of a spin going on now. There's the guys over there. As you can see, there's some distance off. And I can almost stop it dead on when I want to. Now here's the thing, is the forward momentum. These things normally aren't quick. And as you can see, I'm only moving at 4 meters per second. 
However, this thing will act, should actually go up to near maximum, which is 107, 106. And uh, as you can imagine, that gets quite fast. But the fact that something as big as this is actually moving is in itself a wee bit of a surprise to most people. Now what I have done, is you'll have a look on the front of this whilst I'm moving forward, is I've put the missiles on. Now I may have put them on back to the front. If I have, oops, that's fair enough. I'll just have to fix that. But they should be turrets, so they should turn. But I've also put the Gatling guns on as well. Now these aren't active in the game yet, but I believe they will be. I've also put defences on there to make it... Uh, basically so we can do some wee first-person shooters, because you can actually play it like a first-person shooter. And I thought that would be rather cool. As you can see, we're still speeding up. Now there are the banks of engines at the back. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few, and we've got banks of engines underneath as well. Now we do have thruster burn on on this server. For those of you who don't know what a thruster burn is, it's uh, if you put stuff too close to thrusters, it will set on fire and destroy it. Um, we've also you, some of these ships that are flying around, like the business shipmen and the mining carriages, have traps on them, which is basically a nuclear bomb and the thruster hidden right next to it, so if you've got thruster burn turned on, they explode. Which is pretty cool in the grand scheme of things. As you can see, I'm up to 79. Still going forward. This thing was faster when I first built it, but then I added this at the bottom. As you can imagine, it's a bit of a beast. Now, as you can see, it's still much, that ship there still is uh, attached to it because it's got its landing gear on and it's parked. But the problem is in multiplayer servers, if um, there's two players on, the the physics part kind of uh, argues with one another. So it does make it a little bit problematic. Now I'm going to stop because I just saw something there and I think I have an idea what it is. I think. I have now that this ship's still moving because it will take a while for it to slow down so that makes it oops, save again that makes it a wee bitty problematic now the reason I'm flipping over and having a look is because I think we've got a ship loose that's right people, we've got an escape ship Of course, gravity helps, doesn't it? So, as you can see, something's uh, damaged part of the ship. And I think I know where it is. I did have a ship in the launch bay and I forgot about it. Like a noob. Basically, somewhere in there is a ship, but the ship's so big that we can't see it yet. But that's cool. We'll find it. But anyway, you get the idea. I've now brought my ship a lot closer, which means I can interact a bit more with the guys. 
you can actually see my mining base over there, which is quite some distance off still. You can see the Battlestar Miner over there as well. And uh, at some point I'll show you the other guy's stuff as well. So basically guys, uh, thanks very much for uh, joining me on this one. I know it's something a bit different. I thought you might like something a bit different though. But um, if you've enjoyed, please uh, throw us a like. If you want to talk about uh, Space Engineers, throw us a comment. I'm always happy to talk to people about it. I think the game's absolutely awesome. The fact that you can create whatever you want. We will do maybe some Let's Builds at some point. And um, if you have pretty much anything else you want to say, tell us it. If you, if you have any ideas for games you'd like to see played, we're also up for trying new and interesting stuff as well. But thanks very much for joining us, guys, and we'll catch you on the other side. Okay, bye-bye for now.